All right, guys, welcome back to today's daily episode where we're talking everything power management. Good. So we're talking, we're gonna, these are some fights that we had in yesterday's stream. We had some dog fights above Tatooine, I mean, uh, <laughs> Daymar. And uh, I just kind of wanted to break some down and talk about the thought process behind my power management. Now, for some of you guys, if you don't have your power management bound so that you can switch to 100% either shields, weapons, or engines at will and on the fly, it's definitely something you're going to want to do. Yep. Um, you need to have the ability to switch between 100% on any of those systems at, at any point in time as quickly as possible. I have them bound to one of my hats, which is on my right-handed stick, and I control all my power inputs with my thumb. So, a little key thing to note is, let's clear up some common misconceptions with power management. At the current time, so in 315 right now. I like that he says that. I the like way that the power mentioned. management system is set up works like this. <coughs> Excuse me. If you switch to 100% energy on your weapons, you'll see right here, I've switched to 100% power. I'm getting much higher charge rate. And I get an extra few shots in my mag. As soon as I switch back to shields, which I just did now, the shields will begin to charge. You'll see them start to charge. However, if I'm hit during this charging process, my shields will stop recharging. Here I go once again back to guns, refill the bar, and back to shields. You'll see my shields are back to 100% again. Now, some things to note. You do get a buff to whatever system you give to 100% on. If you go 100% on guns, you get an extra few shots in the mag, and you get the increased recharge rate. However, you get a 30% resistance bonus if you switch to shields and keep your power in shields. So, how I want all of you to fly right now with the way the power system is set up is the majority of your fight, your power should be at 100% shields. Now, there is a functionality with the shields right now that behaves in this way. Once your shields are 100% down, so they cannot, re like, they, they, they're down. You, you've been shot enough that your shields are 100% down. And I believe in this fight I might lose my shields here. However, there is a timer. Once your shields receive 100% of their damage taken down, your shield will go into a down state. Now that down state takes five seconds. If in five seconds you are not receiving any damage and you switch to 100% power on shields, your shields will immediately, and I mean immediately, begin to recharge. Now you'll see I've been hit. My shields are flashing with red little flashes here and they're slowly going down. That means even if I have 100% power into shields, what will end up happening is I won't recharge my shields because I took a hit, so I have to wait a few seconds before my shields start to recharge. And if I continue to take hits, my shields will not be able to recharge. However, if my shields go down to like to 0% and I still receive hits, the timer still keeps ticking down from 5 seconds. So a lot of times what will happen is somebody will shoot you or you'll shoot them You'll, f you'll go guns dry, like you'll see here. I'll, I'll, I'll shoot, bang, 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 bang. I'm shooting, I'm shooting, I'm shooting. I'm guns dry. Now I have to start recharging my shields, and it just so happens that his five-second timer has now stopped. So halfway through that recharge cycle that I had, there's a potential that he could have recharged his shields to 100%. Okay? Now, this is a very frustrating bug because the problem is... Uh, See you, Tech. Have a, bug, a great but day, a frustrating bro. Mechanic because Thanks the problem for joining is, us on the stream today, man. With the recharge man. rate Appreciate being you, dude. so high on shields, you can almost recharge your entire shield face the same time it takes to charge an entire magazine of guns. And as long as you avoid a few shots, you can essentially tank the DPS coming out of another fighter. So it's not something I agree with. However, I want you all to understand how That's to right. fly. And I'm telling you... Yeah, I don't agree with that game mechanic either. Avengers right. Avengers right about that. Like, I don't agree with how they've put that kind of design into the shield uh, gameplay. I absolutely agree with them. I absolutely agree with them. Stay in 100% shields as long as you can. Only switch to guns to recharge your magazine. 
and then back to shields. You want to resist the I love the how urge he breaks it down, though, short mag, in terms of what is actually happening in the mechanics before, of what is designed um, the by the developers. The recharge cycle has completed, because what will end up happening is when you fire your weapon, there's a two-second timer, which starts to count down. And if you fire your weapon again before those two seconds are up, your guns will not recharge. So you'll always be kind of... So if you're basically... And this is something that I've very, been very vocal about. Mm -hmm. If you are picking your shots skillfully, you're actually getting punished. You'll mm -hmm. actually be punished for picking your shots skillfully <laughs> right, and trying right, to place, right. your, you know, place your shots and save your ammo, essentially. <laughs> then basically just, just right. dumping your whole mag and then switching dumping back your to weapons entire load, and, whoop, as it, it were. right back up. So it's definitely something CIG needs to look into. Yep, I agree. Because it simply doesn't feel good, doesn't look good. Fucking guy's on point. Fucking guy is on point with the design on shields and the design on the on the power consumption for guns. Guy is fucking on fucking point. Doesn't play good, and it doesn't reward skill-based gameplay, which I think ultimately right. is the direction we need to move towards. Right. Now, I'm not right. sure if that's a bug, and this is not a hit against the team. It's just that's what's currently in the game. That's how I currently interpret it. But if you want to play as hard as you can and get the best results you can, you need to stay with 100% power into your shields and then switch to your weapons when you need to recharge and vice versa. Now, when it comes to boost, that shit needs again, on your boost, basically, you don't touch it unless you're either using it and there's times where you can switch to 100% engines, you become more efficient so your boost will last longer. And as soon as you're in position to take a shot, Switch back to they've either done, weapons they, if you're behind they've them made and there's no that, to you, that, that affect, or uh, switch to shields because towards you're skill. expecting kind of damage to come towards you. All right, guys. But it just takes some time. Pretty simple. There needs to be it's some. A, it's a common thing I see so many people you know, doing. You know, the problem is, is there's not enough people vocal about it because they haven't taken the time to actually, you know, get into PvP like Avenger has. You know, thing is they keep their power at 33 percent. Don't do it. Just don't do it because you don't get the bonus to you know extra guns. You don't get the bonus for extra shields. So manage your power, set your keybinds up, and keep your power and shields when you're fighting, and you will notice that your survivability will go a lot higher. All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's kind of daily PvP video. I hope to that was awesome. That was awesome. Highly recommend his channel. Very good points. Great commentary. Avenger 1's killing it. He's at the top of the game. He's the apex predator and fucking star citizen as far as I'm concerned. And he's he's great at teaching. He's wonderful teaching. He's fucking entertaining. Avenger 1 is killing it. He deserves many more subscribers. Guy should have like 10,000 subscribers right now. Easy. Easy mode. So if you're part of this community, go over there. Uh, check him out. Even if you're not interested in PvP and you want to you learn just because in case some you get encountered by somebody, everybody should know a little bit of PvP. Everybody should know a little bit of PvP, you know, and uh, I'm telling you what, this guy can teach it and he's fucking entertaining as hell. Go over there, check out Avenger 1, a friend of mine, love it, love it.